Well, hello, it's Saturday. I'm out here on tour and I just thought, similar to the story post I just added, I wanted to just touch base a little bit about tour safety, COVID protocols, just a simple little review. So as you can see, while in the vehicle and certainly with passengers, face mask is worn not only by me as the driver, but also by all of the guests that are in the back of the van. The second is that there is plexiglass between me and the passengers. So there's a little bit of a barrier between us. So I know I'm not part of your bubble. So this helps to provide a little bit of a separation. Uh, the second, the third thing is that there is hand sanitizer for uh, guests to use at any time that they want. So there's one in the back and then there's one in the back back. That's what we call it, the back and then the back back. Uh, and of course, the van gets a full cleaning and a full cleansing after every single group comes for a tour. So um, there's no sense in wiping it down thoroughly throughout the day if you're with your bubble. Um, but come the end of the day, I wipe things down and make sure that everything is clean for the next tour group. Uh, and outside of that, all of the vendors that I work with are complying to protocols. And in fact, most of them are going above and beyond. Uh, so you'll notice there's a lot of mask wearing and or shield wearing, um, or there's plexiglass shield between you and the guide who's giving you a tasting. Um, there's always considerations and most of our tastings and experiences are outside at this point in time when we can do it. So um, that's really what I wanted to cover. I just wanted to ensure that all of you know that, you know, we have all been really stung by COVID this year. And, you know, we finally, I feel like we've sort of figured out some things that we can do that even though we don't love them, we don't love wearing the mask, we don't love doing all these protocols, but if it's keeping us safe and it's going to help reduce numbers, um, and it's going to uh, help you feel a little bit more safe and secure when doing business with small businesses or any business. Um, it's really important. And so I wanted to make sure that I reiterated what's happening here. And, uh, and if you have any questions at all, I would invite you to ask because I'm here to help. I'm also here to stay in business and uh, we'll likely be running tours until the end of October, at least maybe through the first couple weeks of November, depending on what it's going to look like weather-wise and if there's interest. Um, but outside of that, I don't think that this year is going to be a year I'm going to run all the way through middle of December, which is usually what I usually do. Um, and, uh, and then I will hit the reset button. Hopefully for spring, things will work in our favor. And I've got some really awesome things that are going to be coming up for you in the spring. So I just wanted to kind of let you know, hey, this is what we're doing for safety now. Uh, more fun is going to be coming for you in the spring. But if you're itching to get out of the house and itching to do something before all that snow falls, um, I'm your girl. And I'll take you and your bubble of four to six people out for a really great experience uh, that's super safe and considering all of you and making sure that everyone has a great day, despite what limitations we have happening around us. So anyways, hope you guys have a great Saturday. It feels weird not letting you see me smile, uh, but hence the mask stage of the game. All right, guys, have a great day and uh, feel free to ask questions if you got them. I'm here for you. Okay, ciao.